Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we got the more junk removal, obviously, because I don't know what other kind of content to put on this channel at this point. But we're going to empty the trailer out because it is full of debris from yesterday. Yesterday wasn't a bad day. I mean, I had two jobs, both being over $300 jobs. So, I mean, it was like not that long of a day and some easy cash. And a second job, the customer helped me load the trailer. He asked if he could help or should he help? And I was like, if you want to help, I can give you like a $20 discount. And he's like, oh yeah, sure, I might as well. And that was super easy. Cause like when you have two people on a pile of debris, it goes by way quicker. We're going to dump now, empty this out. Then we got two jobs. One is just a washer machine removals. And the second job is I'm expecting to be like a half trailer load of boxes. So another easy job all the way across town so it's gonna be a lot of driving and then we got to go to actually a family friend to quote out one second i gotta turn so a family friend to give them a quote on a warehouse clean out they own like a bunch of restaurants and stuff so they have like a one big warehouse where they keep a bunch of equipment and stuff that they've had accumulated over the years because it just won't fit in a normal size uh, storage unit so they have like a whole ass warehouse and they took like most of the important stuff out and i think relocated it and the rest of the stuff in there is just junk, but it's still a lot. I think it's gonna be well over multiple trailer loads. So I'm gonna go there, see if I can do that for the price that they were talking about, because they had someone else come and quote it. It was for just dropping off a dumpster and they still had to fill it themselves. And I think they got quoted at like two grand. My buddy was like, he's like, yeah, you could probably do this and it'd probably be worth two grand to you. So I'm gonna go check that out and see if I can land that job that'd be some easy cash that's today's roster uh let's just head to the dump and get this trailer emptied and the day started all right now all the way off to dunedin to pick up one washer i mean it kind of sucks but washer is almost 100 percent profit because i can scrap it for scrap metal and i'll probably make an extra five bucks ten bucks probably like five bucks off the washer whatever money money all right crap <laughs> i kind of forgot to record me loading the washer if you guys wanted to see it but it's all right, but you can see it. It's back there. I'm sure you guys wouldn't want to see me load a washer anyway. It's not that interesting, and it was only an $80 job. But this next one should be some more cash, and then try to get some footage of that. Then we'll head to the warehouse quote and see what that's looking like. That should be interesting. All right, honestly, I'm an idiot, and I forgot to record that last job too because I was driving a lot. So I'm gonna hop out on the highway. Show you guys the loads looking like. Here it is. About halfway loaded down. Welcome to the jungle. Let me show you guys how to back this thing up with just the mirrors. Remember back in the day, I used to whip my whole head around. This is how you gotta do it nowadays. Way more convenient. Oh, my auxiliary cord's getting wrapped in my steering wheel. And just right on back, leave yourself some room to drop the gate and unload. It's good enough. gonna do this live pulling onto the scales see what this dump fee is looking like for that $200 load oh crap where did I put that oh there it is wow I thought I almost lost dump fee there it is alrighty <laughs> I know you guys always talk about the dump fees and how cheap they are I know I'm blessed in my area but that comes with cheaper prices. Check that one out, 536. Now, if that ain't a profitable job, I don't know what is. Uh, yeah, so $280 on today for revenue. Nothing really crazy. I mean, just an average day. Can't complain, at least the phone's ringing a little bit. Now I'm staying somewhat busy, not sitting in the house, like slow season, which I think is coming, hopefully later than sooner i drop below in the comments what you guys think that would have costed you to dump oh get a phone call all right real quick because i'm at the warehouse and on that last video got cut off by a phone call we are gonna walk through the warehouse check this out see what it's looking like and then after this i'll talk about that a little bit but then i have an announcement about my marketing strategy and you guys are always asking me how to get more junk removal and how what ads i run and everything and i'm gonna be talking about that especially because i just really changed something up and i'm gonna take a new kind of business venture here at it and see what I can do with it. But before we hop into that, let's take a walk through this warehouse real quick. One, two. 
you up. Well, what are you doing with the golf cart? <laughs> Does it still work? Uh, not really. Is this yeah. is this one going too? Yeah, I got two of those. Whoa, we got an espresso machine somewhere around here. Uh, I don't know where it's yeah, but if, once you take those tables out, I'm thinking definitely under six loads. All right, so that's the warehouse, and I did have the camera on 0.5 zoom, which zooms it out, so it might have made the stuff look a little bit smaller than it actually is. But still, from the looks of it, he said. Those two giant fish coolers are going. There's a few more desks that are going, which take up majority of the space. And as long as I could stay under like a 2000 budget, they'd rather pay me the money than hire some other company to drop off dumpsters and they would still have to do their work themselves for like 1500. So they'd rather spend like an extra 500 bucks and have me do the entire job than fill up two dumpsters themselves and have to come out here all day and work from the looks of it, it only looks like four or five loads maybe after they get those big tables out of there and stuff so i'll definitely be able to stay below like my average price which my like my average price i'm expecting like if i quoted that job right now i would probably quote it at like 1500 just because like i can back my trailer right up into the garage and just load it up and the dump's not far from here so realistically i'm not gonna even though they said i could all I had to do was stay under 2000 so if I could hit them for like 1900 and they wouldn't even ask questions, I'm not going to do that. Family, friend. I'm expecting this to probably be like five loads, which is be like 2000 So I guess like my normal price, if I really thought about it and thought it was going to take five loads, I would be at like right at 2000 But these are family friends of mine. I've known them since I was literally a little kid. And, oh, this guy's trying to get out. One second. Oh. All right, we got cut off again, but yeah, that's the warehouse. Before I end out, I told you guys I wanna talk about the marketing. You guys are always asking who does my marketing, who runs my Google ads, how do you get more jobs? And I'm gonna to try to be brief on this just cause in the future, I'll probably make a whole video on this when I get better at it. I've jumped around through marketing teams. I've used Junk Removal Authority. I've used a local guy that promised me the world and said he's got a guy that's been doing the Google ads for 10 years but they've never done it for a junk removal company before. So I thought, hey, give them a shot. They're not that expensive. And they didn't really work out. Like they were just, they were running my ads kind of like you would run ads for like a big company or like a big contracting or roofing company to where like they're only giving me like a lead or two a day and but they're spending a bunch of money and you can't really do that in junk removal because say you spend a hundred dollars a day in junk removal, great, you get three leads, but you only land two of them. I don't land a lot of the jobs I get phone calls for. A lot of the time people are just calling for an estimate. So, but you're still paying for people. When you tell them like, oh, you got this, 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 I'll give an estimate over the phone. They're like, oh, okay, thank you. I'm gonna call around a little bit more. You're still getting charged for that. So that's what you're paying for is a lead. Yes, you can be better at landing leads over the phone and stuff, but I'm pretty honest with people. And if they tell me what it is, I kind of overbid it most of the time because I don't want people to waste my time and I don't want to waste their time. And I get there and I give them the price and they're like, oh, that's too much and I have to leave. So I'm pretty honest over the phone. But my whole point of this is I've tried multiple marketing companies now, started with JRA, did the local guy, and I've came to the conclusion that I'm just gonna go back to doing my Google ads myself because I know a lot more about Google ads now that I've been working with marketing companies than I did in the past. When I first started this business, I was running like $10 a day ads, which is not what you should be doing unless there's like zero competition in your area because to be at the top of Google, you need to be spending a decent amount a day on ads. And I didn't know that when I was first starting. Now that I know that, I think I can come at ads, the Google ads with a totally different perspective and probably get pretty good at them. And with all the knowledge on YouTube and Google literally offers free courses on Google ads, I've taken the decision to just really try to focus on doing my own Google ads. I'll be saving 700 to $1,000 a month, not paying marketing agencies to run them for me. And that extra seven to $1,000 a month I'm saving, I could actually sink into Google. So instead of spending $2,200 a month at $50 a day on Google and the rest of the marketing company, I could put all that money straight into Google ads. So even if I do mess up a little bit, I'm spending such a budget on Google that it's gonna be rewarding me more. So that's the plan. I kind of was thinking in the back of my head, like if I can get these Google ads dialed and scale this business off my ads alone and get really good at it, maybe, who knows, I can start trying to do it for other junk removal companies, kind of like JRA does, or maybe some, some of my YouTube subscribers that always ask what marketing companies I use. Maybe I could try doing it for them for a month for free and see what they think. And if they like it, they could hire me out to do their Google ads, something like that. I don't know, just spitballing. That would be a pretty cool business model if I could actually start running Google ads for other junk removal companies companies and do it the right way. That's the update with the marketing and that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a little bit all over the place, a lot going on. 
and I missed a few recordings, a few things that I should record and I kind of missed, sorry about that. <laughs> if you did enjoy, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. Comment below if you have a question or if you just want to say what's up. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Now it's supposed to feel